The universe is a vast and mysterious place. It is filled with wonders that we are only just beginning to understand. But amidst all the beauty and grandeur, there is also a fundamental duality. This duality exists within each of us. It is the battle between good and evil. We all have the capacity for both great love and terrible destruction. We can be kind and compassionate, or we can be cruel and selfish. The choice is ours. We are the masters of our own destiny. Some believe in a God who embodies both good and evil. This God is neither benevolent nor malevolent. Instead, this God simply is. This God is the force that drives the universe, the energy that flows through all things. This duality is reflected in the very fabric of reality. It is the yin and yang, the light and shadow. It is the fundamental tension that gives rise to all creation. Within each of us lies the potential for both good and evil. Like seeds dormant within the earth, these forces await the conditions to sprout and grow. We are born with a blend of these qualities. It is part of what makes us human. Our genes carry the echoes of our ancestors. They whisper tales of survival, of both cooperation and conflict. Yet, we are not solely products of our biology. Our environment, our experiences and our choices all play a role in shaping who we become. Imagine a garden. Within it, seeds of various plants lie buried. Some are flowers, vibrant and fragrant. Others are weeds, tenacious and invasive, which will flourish depends on the care they receive. Similarly, the seeds of good and evil within us are influenced by the world around us. But ultimately, it is our choices that determine which will take root and define our character. Our upbringing plays a crucial role in shaping our moral compass. The environment we are raised in, the values instilled in us by our parents and mentors, all leave an imprint on our souls. A nurturing upbringing can foster empathy, kindness, and a strong sense of justice. Imagine a child raised in a loving home. They are taught to share, to care for others, and to stand up for what is right. These values become ingrained in their being. Conversely, a neglectful or abusive upbringing can sow the seeds of anger, resentment, and a disregard for others. Without proper guidance, the weeds of negativity can choke the growth of compassion. The impact of our early years is undeniable. It lays the foundation upon which we build our moral framework. However, it is essential to remember that our upbringing does not dictate our destiny. We have the power to choose a different path. Life is a tapestry woven from countless choices. Each decision we make, no matter how small, has the power to alter the course of our lives and the lives of those around us. Every day we stand at a crossroads, faced with decisions that can lead us closer to good or closer to evil. Imagine a lone traveller at a fork in the road. One path leads towards a sunlit meadow, the other towards a dark and ominous forest. The choice of which path to take rests solely with the traveller. Similarly, we are constantly presented with choices that test our character. Do we act with integrity and kindness, or do we succumb to selfishness and greed? These choices, these seemingly insignificant moments, ultimately determine the direction of our lives. With each decision, we shape not only our own destiny, but also contribute to the collective fate of humanity. Our actions ripple outwards, influencing the world around us. Section 5, The Mirror of Self-Reflection In the hustle and bustle of life, it's easy to get swept away by the current. We react instinctively, driven by external forces. But to truly understand the battle between good and evil within ourselves, we must take time for introspection. We must look inward and confront the reflection staring back at us. Imagine a still pond. Only when its surface is undisturbed can it reflect the sky above with perfect clarity. Similarly, our minds, when free from the constant chatter of daily life, can reflect our true nature. Self-reflection is not always comfortable. It requires honesty, courage, and a willingness to confront our flaws. But it is through this process that we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves. We begin to see the motivations behind our actions, the patterns of thought and behavior that hold us back. Through self-reflection, we can identify the seeds of both good and evil within us. This awareness is crucial. It empowers us to nurture the positive and address the negative. Section 6. Echoes in Eternity 
Our actions in this life have consequences that extend far beyond our mortal existence. They create ripples that echo through eternity, shaping the very fabric of our souls. The choices we make, the paths we choose, determine our ultimate fate. Imagine a pebble tossed into a still pond. The ripples it creates spread outwards, touching every part of the pond's surface. Similarly, our actions have far-reaching consequences, impacting the world and ourselves in ways we may never fully comprehend. Those who choose a path of love, compassion and righteousness find freedom and liberation. They ascend to a higher state of being, their souls cleansed by the fires of their good deeds. Their spirit, lightened by love, rises to join the cosmos, forever connected to the source of all creation. Conversely, those who succumb to hatred, greed and malice are met with torment and despair. Their souls, burdened by the weight of their actions, become trapped in a cycle of suffering. They are forever bound to the darkness they have created. The choices we make in this life determine our eternal destiny. It is a sobering thought, but also an empowering one. We have the power to choose our fate. Section 7. Zervan the Cosmic Cradle. In the vast expanse of cosmic mythology, Zervan emerges as a powerful symbol of this eternal duality. Zervan is the primordial deity representing both time and space, encompassing both good and evil within its boundless being. Just as a father might hold both love and discipline for a child, so too does Zervan hold the universe with all its complexities within its embrace. This ancient deity reminds us that good and evil are not separate entities, but rather two sides of the same coin. They exist in a delicate balance, constantly pushing and pulling against each other. Just as the universe needs both light and darkness, expansion and contraction, so too does our own existence require this interplay of opposing forces. Zervan serves as a reminder that we are all interconnected, bound together within this cosmic dance of duality. Our individual struggles with good and evil are but a microcosm of this grander cosmic narrative. Section 8. The North Star's Dimmed Light The North Star, Polaris, has long served as a beacon of hope and guidance for navigators and dreamers alike. Its unwavering presence in the night sky has symbolized constancy, direction and the pursuit of one's true north. However, recent astronomical observations have revealed that Polaris is dimming, its light growing fainter with each passing year. While the exact cause of this phenomenon remains a mystery, it serves as a potent metaphor for the current state of humanity. Just as the North Star's light is fading, so too does it seem that the light of compassion, empathy and love is dimming in our world. We are becoming increasingly polarized, divided by ideologies and consumed by self-interest. This dimming light is a call to action, a reminder that we must not allow the darkness to prevail. We must strive to reignite the flames of hope and love within ourselves and in the world around us. Section 9. A Universe Intertwined We are not isolated beings, adrift in a cold and indifferent universe. Modern science is revealing the interconnectedness of all things. From the smallest subatomic particles to the largest galaxies, everything in the cosmos is linked through an intricate web of energy and information. Just as the North Star is connected to every atom within it, so too are we connected to every other being in the universe. Our thoughts, emotions and actions have an impact on the world around us, whether we realize it or not. This interconnectedness is not merely a scientific concept. It is a fundamental truth that has been recognized by mystics and spiritual teachers for centuries. It is the understanding that we are all part of something much larger than ourselves, a grand cosmic tapestry woven together by the threads of consciousness. When we harm another, we harm ourselves. When we act with love and compassion, we contribute to the healing and evolution of the entire universe. Section 10, Reigniting the Cosmic Flame. The battle between good and evil is not a distant cosmic drama, but a personal journey that unfolds within each of us. The choices we make, the thoughts we harbor, and the actions we take all contribute to the outcome of this eternal struggle. 
We are not passive observers in this cosmic drama. We have the power to choose our path, to nurture the seeds of good within ourselves and the world around us. Just as the North Star has guided travelers for millennia, so too can we become beacons of light, illuminating the path towards a brighter future. Let us ignite the core of our being with the fire of love, compassion and understanding. Let our actions be a testament to the inherent goodness that resides within us all. And let us work together to create a world where the light of Zervan shines brightly upon us all.